So here we're looking at the stock amp and the in this Toyota Tundra. Now this is this, uh, how do I say it? This is a non-JBL. This setup does not work with JBL at this time. We may offer that at another time, but anyhow, this is the non-JBL system. This is the 2014 and up. If you've got a 2007 to 2013 Tundra, we have another set of instructions. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna remove this amplifier. And it's pretty easy to do. These little plastic pl uh, plugs here on this side, you can just actually pull it up a little bit. They'll come loose, take a screwdriver, and just pop them up. And then pop this one up. Come on. All right, this one's a little bit tougher. Just kind of hold it here. Again, lift it until it comes loose. Take your small screwdriver, pop it up. Come on. All right. Next thing is we're going to take our 10 millimeter uh, socket here. I think yeah, we can see that there. Remove that. Save the bolt. Take that one. Remove this. All you're going to do is pinch these like so. That'll slide right out. Pinch this. Er, come on, get in there. Sometimes they're a little bit tougher, so if you get a little screwdriver, just help pop that right out. All right, so this old amp comes out of place or moves out of the way. All right, what we did, you can't really tell, is we took a razor and we cut here and then we extended this cut here. And then we flip this back. Oh, let me grab this. We flip this back and then we cut a little bit of this padding out. You can't tell, it still looks stock. Everything goes back into place. All right, so now the next step is we're gonna take this, move it out of the way. We're gonna take the amp rack that Daniel assembled earlier and you can see that this slides into here. This one, we're gonna flip this back, tuck this under here, and now we can bolt this in. But before we bolt this in, we've gotta got do a few connections. In another part of the video, we showed you guys how to run your power wire, which is right here, this four, this four gauge. This is running directly to the, power, uh, to the battery. Uh, we need our subwoofer control knob here, and we'll, uh, we'll show you how to run that. It's pretty easy. And we've actually got a pretty cool video that shows you if you want to do that, um, if you want to mount your um, subwoofer control knob in between your cup holders. Um, let me think here. Oh yeah, so I'll move this out of the way. Now the next thing we're going to do is right here, we're going to pull this carpet back. Let me unsnap this. And right here, I think, you, yeah, you can see that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 10, oops, we're gonna take our 10 millimeter socket, remove that. We're gonna take a little bit of sandpaper and remove more paint so we have a really good ground. So, take this. We're gonna remove that. We're gonna take some sandpaper right here, sand that down, right and then we're gonna see we stripped around. away the paint. I'm going to take my two grounds, basically I'm going to put the screw in, strap them down, get them as flat as possible. Okay, then I'm going to tighten that back up. Okay, make sure you got a nice, these are really tight, they're not going anywhere. Now the next thing we're going to do is we've got our um, sober control knob here. We've got our subwoofer output. This is running to our subwoofers. Uh, we showed you earlier how to um, assemble that. And then, let me see, what else am I missing? Um, oh yeah, the power wire here, we ran, I think I showed you that earlier in the video, We or another part of the video, we ran the power from the battery. We have a, video, we have a separate video on how to do that. So we ran that under the vent, and it's going here underneath the amp rack up to the top and we're going to connect it here to this um, distribution block. Now we're basically ready to snap everything back together. So I'm going to put the carpet back in place. Okay. Then take my wire harness. Uh, let's see, we're going to need the subwoofer wiring and we're going to need the amplifier or the, I'm sorry, the subwoofer control knob. And then we're going to take this, oops, almost forgot. All right, so plug and play wiring. You're going to take this, take the 12 pin, plug it into the stock wiring. Take the 10 pin, plug it into the stock wiring. 
All right, you should hear them click. Make sure they're not going anywhere. Now, on this side, <clears throat> excuse me. Where is it at? All right, so on this side, we've got three blue connectors. And then we've got these two black connectors. And then we've got the subwoofer. So we've got a total of six connectors. Three of them are blue. Three of them are black. The blue goes to our input side. So we're going to take this. We're going to get the amps in place. The, gray, uh, the blue connector with the gray and white wire are going to plug into the front out to the front input. So you're going to take that, plug it in here. You'll hear a click. Then you're going to take the purple and green wires here. See, there's the purple, green, and it's blue. So we're going to take that and connect it as well. You hear a click, and then this last one with just the purple wires is going to go into your amplifier. All right. Oops. This one's upside down. So plug that. Come on, get in there. You'll hear that one click. Then our subwoofer control knob. Click that in there. Now we can take the wires. Oh, almost forgot. We got to hook up the output side. So now we're going to hook up the other side. Um, all right. Now, here you notice, I wanted to go over this before I forget. Okay, we have a yellow wire and a blue wire. Now, we offer this wire harness on our website. So if you have your own amplifiers that will accept a high-level input, you can use the, the setup. A lot of amplifiers will not turn on without a remote wire, so we've provided a remote wire. When you turn the truck on, or you, yeah, when you turn your vehicle on, this remote wire will send a signal and you uh, it'll turn your amplifiers on. Now, some amplifiers require weight, a lot of power, so we offer this constant as a way if you need to use a relay. More, more than likely, you won't have to use this one, but if you're using your own amps, you may need this blue wire. We don't need it for this setup, so we cap them off and just put them out of the way. Now, on the output side, over here, so I'm going to take these, tuck them out of the way. I'm going to take my output side. Okay, my output wires are here. This is my subwoofer. So obviously, I'm going to take my subwoofer connection, plug it, in, plug it into here on the output side of the amplifier. Come okay, on. Should get a click. Okay. And then, again, the, the colors are the same. The white and the gray are the front. The purple and the green are the rear. So on the amplifier itself, you'll see it says front. I don't know if you can see that. The front here. Click. The rear. Come on, get in there. You'll hear a click. Okay. Now, um, I think you can see this. What we're going to do next is we're just going to take all these wires and tuck them underneath and hide them. Now, if you really want it to look nice, back here, especially back here, we can take a little split loom. And what we're going to do is take here. First, let me cut it. Take a little split loom. And we're going to run just enough, I hope you can see this, yeah. We're going to run just enough to where when we hide this under here, you won't see any of the color. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here.
All right, so here you can see I've got the amp in place. I'm getting ready to bolt it in, taking all the wires, hiding them. Now, I put some split loom on here. If you're looking, this is a lifted truck, so chances are you might be able to see these wires, but this should do a good job of blocking the rest of it. I loom the back here, so it'll make it, uh, make it, it it'll black out all the wires, it'll look a lot cleaner. Um, this step isn't necessary, but it just helps the install look a lot nicer. All right, so the next step I'm gonna have Daniel do is he's gonna take this four gauge, He's going to cut it. We're okay, gonna so we're going to connect it here. What we're going to do here is we're going to take our four gauge, which is running all the way to the battery. Um, we can cut it to to length. You don't want to cut it too short. You just want to make sure you have enough. We're going to strip this back about half an inch. Same thing with all the rest of the wires, you want to make sure uh, that none of the copper is exposed, it's, that it's all inside of the connector here, so into the distribution block. You want to tighten it up, wiggle it around, and then tighten up a little bit more to make sure um, that it's nice and tight. So using the factory bolts that we took out from the uh, from the factory stock amplifier these same bolts uh, can be used with our uh, with our amp rack you want to make sure that none of your under the seat harnesses are being pinched or are in the way of the amp rack at any time make sure that those stay nice and loose uh, once you have have these uh, kind of hand tightened in, you want to take your uh, 10 millimeter wrench and tighten them in. All right, guys. So, like we mentioned earlier, just kind of we'll, we'll clean that up. And the cool thing is, the split loom. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do the split loom, but it does make it look a lot cleaner. When the seat goes back into place, you're not going to see anything because obviously it's dark under there. All right. So the next step is we're going to back up. We're going to show you how to tune the amplifier specifically for your vehicle. Uh, we're going to grab the digital multimeter. Uh, we're going to grab our test tones that are available from the website and we'll show you guys how to get that done. It takes about five minutes and at this point you're pretty much done. You've now, like I know I've said this 10 times, I'm sorry, but when we're done with this phase, you'll have 70 watts running to each speaker and then you'll have uh, four or 600 watts running to your subwoofer. A lot of guys think they can power their stock speakers. Now, realistically, you can use the, um, we have some guys that start with just a subwoofer. They'll start with this setup and they'll turn the input gain down on their four channel amplifier so they don't overpower their stock speakers. So yes, that's possible and yes, we have people that are doing that. We don't recommend it for a long period of time because obviously this is a lot more power than the stock speakers are intended to handle. So be sure to check out our website. We've got really cool plug and play speaker options. We've got um, aftermarket wiring harnesses that connect directly to your stock speaker wiring. Uh, it makes it easy to install aftermarket components or coaxial speakers. We also have, um, ra um, how do I say this, crossover mounts that make it really easy to mount crossovers in the door panels. So we make it really easy to get your system upgraded and rocking. All right, so next step is we're going to tune the amp. And then if you'd want, if you'd like, check out the next video series where we actually install aftermarket speakers into the doors using the, the plug and play amp setup.